Bryce, we are Louis and Michelle from the Lockhearts. We are a husband and wife photo and video team based in DFW in New York City. This is the first episode of The Bride Guide where we'll be talking to top vendors in the DFW area about all things weddings. If you're currently planning your wedding, we will be discussing everything from flowers to hair and makeup to planning and the venue. We are aiming to answer all things and help you in all the wedding planning. Since we are wedding storytellers, we'll begin this episode by talking about all things related to photo and video during the day off. Before we begin, let's introduce ourselves a bit. So as we mentioned before, we are a husband and wife team that offers both photo and video. We have about 13 years of experience in the wedding industry. Our passion for photography and videography began in college as we spent our day in the photo lab developing images. We quickly fell in love with the craft. After we got married, we really decided to dive into the world of weddings, and we have been so blessed to meet so many amazing people in the process. Now, let's talk about a couple of tips and things that you should be aware in terms of photo and video during your wedding. One of the first questions that many people have when booking a photographer is how much time will they need to have their photographer there? So let's talk about how we help couples decide this. Usually, if everything's in the same venue and their reception is about three hours long or that's how long they need us there, we would say eight hours is perfect. If the reception is four hours or they need us there for four hours, we would say nine hours works perfectly. If you're having a first look or have some traveling involved, typically 10 hours works best for this type of situation. This is something that can vary and can be customized for each wedding. So definitely, definitely, it's something that you need to speak with your photographer and your videographer to know what would work best for you. While we're talking about time, let's talk about how to create an ideal photo and video timeline. We always recommend starting with pinpointing the ceremony. Ideally, the ceremony should be two hours before sunset to allow to take pictures afterward in the beautiful golden hour light. After that is nailed down, in order to ensure enough time for bride prep, groom prep, as well as details, we like to arrive three to four hours before the ceremony. We take about an hour to take details photos of the dress, the invites, and the shoes, and all the other things that you guys as a couple have worked so hard to put together. We like to make sure that we do all the pictures with bridesmaids, groomsmen during this time, as well as photos with the immediate family members. So now, if someone were to add a first look, we probably arrive somewhere around four to five hours before the ceremony. After the ceremony, which is about 30 minutes to one hour, we add an hour for cocktail. During this time, we take family photos and the entire bridal party photo. The couple's photos, as well as details of the reception space, and then we finish up capturing all the fun at the reception. Another critical piece in the timeline is the time that hair and makeup is finished. Usually, it's nice to ask the photographer this question in order to make sure that your day goes smoothly. We always say that hair and makeup should be done about three hours before the ceremony or the first look. That way, you can have enough time to take photos of you and your girls and photos in your dress, as well as portraits and not feel rushed throughout the day. So this is a key element to making sure the photo timeline goes well. After your hair and makeup is done, we go on to take photos with you and your girls in your PJs and robes, and then you in your dress. We always like to say that the key to a beautiful image while getting ready is a clutter-free room with beautiful natural light. We recommend moving all the clutter into another room, the bathroom, or a corner in order to make sure that nothing ruins your image. Now, another question many people ask is whether it is ideal to have a photo and video team. While everyone's budget and needs vary, we really believe that you get the best service when you have a photo and video team. Not only do you get to relive your wedding through photos and videos that have the same aesthetic, but you also have a team that has experience working together. We will both aim to get the best of both your photos and your videos, which is something amazing to have on your wedding day. In addition to this, a lot of people wonder whether it is important to have two photographers or two videographers. We think that this is really important in order to make sure that your date runs smoothly. Firstly, it allows for certain moments like the bride and groom prep to be captured at the same time. In addition, you are able to get multiple angles of the same moments, which is truly priceless, especially when we talk about moments that you cannot repeat, like the bride walking down the aisle, the parents crying as you're giving uh, your vows or things like that. Another key question brides may have is about detail photos. A lot of couples love the detail photos because it really sets the mood of your day. But how we get these photos is something that we always like to educate our brides about. Usually we take about an hour on these images and we bring our styling board and accessories to help everything come together. We like to find a place near a window where there is beautiful natural light in order to make sure that the beauty of these details can be seen. We always tell our brides that the more personalized pieces that they can provide us, the better, um, because we can truly capture the essence of the day. Also, we always like to tell our couples to go ahead and make sure that that's put in a, set in a place 
um, where we can just go ahead and grab and go. In addition to the details like invitation and address, it is super important to make sure that the details of the ceremony and the reception gets captured. Usually the ceremony space is pretty quick and can be done right before the bride prep. However, the reception area takes a little bit longer since there's usually multiple pieces. Since the room is typically not ready until after the ceremony, we always like to recommend our couples to have cocktail hours done in the area that is not the reception. This will give the photographer time to capture the room without people or items in the photo. Things like wedding day timeline and speaking with your photographer is so important in order to make sure that everything is captured. To us, communication and education is key. So we hope that you've enjoyed this episode of The Bride's Guide and that it helped answer many of your photo and video questions regarding your wedding. Now stay tuned for our next episode in which we will be discussing everything related to planning in terms of your wedding day. And with this, we have reached the end of our first episode of The Bride Guide, and we hope that you stay tuned for the next episodes. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, hit the like button right there, and see you next time.